As university students staged a demonstration obstructing the entrance point to the parliamentary complex or the unresolved SITEM issue. The demonstration ended following the intervention of the police. Students of the Inter-University Students Federation began their demonstration opposite the University of the Visual and Performing Arts and proceeded on foot towards Parliament. The protest which was held this afternoon resulted in heavy traffic congestion in and around Rajagiriya. At the parliamentary entrance point, the police resorted to firing tear gas at the protesters. The country will not be able to move forward. This is very inconvenient for us. We have no way of doing our job. According to police data, a minimum of four protests are held a day in and around Colombo. As a result of these protests, which are held at various locations, the general public are forced to waste their valuable time stuck on the road. Trade unions have their freedom, but that is not the issue. People lose close to 40 to 50 billion rupees a year while being stuck in traffic due to daily satyagraha campaigns and strike actions. It is eventually the people who have to pay taxes. The issue people have today is how many hours does it take for them to reach home from work when they get into a bus. In other countries, you cannot book the road to go on rallies. You have to allocate a government-owned area. There is no issue in staging these rallies at Golf Fort or Hyde Park. So if there is an issue, the government has to provide immediate solutions because such satyagraha campaigns, which result in heavy traffic congestions, causes a waste of around 5 to 6 percent of our GDP. Even when you go to buy medicine, you can't because that alone causes health issues. In May this year, bus drivers in Japan went on strike over several demands, but it was no ordinary industrial dispute. They were still working during the strike, driving around, picking up passengers. But they did not do a key part of the job, which was accepting fares. But here in Sri Lanka, struggles and battles are more targeted at the people rather than the rulers. How fair is it to cause inconvenience among the majority of the people in the country to fulfill the agendas of a few? And against a backdrop where the rupee only seems to be depreciating and the vegetable prices soaring, is it right to put the general public under such pressure in exchange for various objectives?